Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's finish building Freedom City. Now that we've gotten all of the schools and hospitals out of the way, the residential zones should develop much more quickly at this point. I've still got a bunch of police departments that I want to build to take care of the remaining crime elements in the city. Well, so far the RCI meters is staying pretty balanced, but I might lose a little bit here or there, depending on the variance of which zones are going to develop, or industrial, or my residential zones, but it should be fairly well balanced, at least the demand is, even though I have far less commercial zones, but, well, once I get residential and industrial fully developed, that really takes care of that problem, though it looks like I lost a little bit of residential demand there, so we'll see how that goes. Now, at this point, I want to actually reduce the amount of police funding just so I can build a lot more police departments. I prefer having more police departments with less funding than the other way around, although eventually I will bring it up to 100% again, just that Right now, I want to build a lot more. Hey! So, yeah, you get this, uh, congratulations or whatever, when you reach 600,000 citizens in the city there. Hooray! But I'm gonna keep going, see how far I can take this. Now, for my police departments, I plan to have 98 of them in total. So let's see what we can do with that. I don't want to spend all of my money, though. I'd like to hold on to a thousand, maybe 1,500. Yeah, probably 1,500. So I'll probably build, like, eight police departments at this point and go from there. Let's see where the crime is happening, though. Okay, so why don't we start up here? Yeah, we can also block off some of the pollution going on over there. But yeah, let's uh, pause while I'm doing all this. And some individual zones are losing power for some reason. But uh, don't worry about it, we have plenty of power. Okay, so I might want to build another one there, but let me see what else we've got around here so I can make sure that I've gotten everything covered okay how about we go a couple over here and then I'm probably yeah I'm gonna need one over there and all the way down there okay let's see how the rest looks then probably want to put some more in the northwest quadrant there Maybe one more there, one more over here. Yeah, yeah, that ought to do. That'll keep me within the budget. Though I'm just thinking about which one I would really like to build over here. Let's see, probably the one in the lower right. Looks like we got a little more crime over there. Though I do want to fill out this one eventually. Okay, so yeah, let's get that one over there. I probably want to build some more police departments over there too. But for now, this will do all right so we got all that let's go on the slowest speed until everything is fully powered up there or at least the police departments anyway whatever works okay there we go we got that going so let's fast forward as more people keep moving into the city But yeah, the worst thing that could happen right now is like a, a plane crash or something. Now that the airport is fully operational. Okay, well, we. This is why I wanted to hold on to some amount of money because, yeah, plane crashes can happen. I'm thinking about removing this one just so I have room to build a fire department. But let me see exactly where I am on the map. Okay, so I'm one column 
to the left of uh, what is it? The center column there. So let's see down there. Okay, so yeah, if I put a, a fire department, yeah, right around the, the area, that should do. But uh, yeah, I do need to demolish a little bit. You don't have to build a fire department to deal with fires. You could just, you know, uh, destroy anything around the fires and it'll take a long time, but eventually they will be put out, even on their own. It's like a 1 in 11 chance per week for that to happen. But with a fire department, it's a 1 in 4 chance. So it makes things take a lot less time to get all the way through there. Looks like, though, we... I would it? Put out most of the fire there? There you go. And... Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I was thinking about holding on to it, but... Nah, nah. If I recall correctly, I believe fire departments are considered valid destinations. For a moment there, I thought I was gonna build, like, three police departments there. Whoops. But yeah, this is why I uh, don't power up the airports. Because you don't need to in order to get it to serve its function. And all it can do is take away from the development of the city. Oh, looks like we got, yeah, hospital trying to sneak in here across the border. That's not happening. Not today. How are we looking then? Yeah, we'll just keep things going a little slow here for now. Until I get my... Well, yeah, get these residential zones going. And see how far we can go with this population. Okay, now let's fast forward until next year. Get a lot more money and build a lot more police departments. Maybe like halfway through the year I'll show you how crime has been affected by reducing the amount of funding that we have there. Uh-oh. Well, not much I can do about that. I mean, what do you want me to do in the corners of the city? Build, I don't know, commercial zones or something? I mean, they wouldn't develop over there. Residential zones wouldn't either. Even if they weren't close to industrial zones, I don't know. But in any case, yeah, I guess the plane's just lost. Got lost and crashed into a house. That's Okay, so let's see how crime has been affected by the funding. So yeah, we've got quite a bit more around the area. Though I like how I can see the little dots where the where I haven't built my police departments yet, so that makes it look, well, that makes it a lot easier for me to figure out, okay, this is where the 8x8 region is. You can see the little squares there on that, not just for the police departments, but for the whole 8x8 region where they all are. So I'll know, hey, here's where the crime is, here's where I put the police departments if I want to deal with that. I totally planned on that happening as I was filling out the rest of my city. Or not. I was just leaving the police departments out for the moment just because I didn't really need them and I didn't have the money to build all of the police departments at once. But reducing the funding helps out quite a bit there. Especially when planes aren't trying to crash. Although, if you're just flying around, then I don't know what you're doing there. Don't you ever run out of gas? I wonder if, if there's a way a plane can, like, despawn or something. Like, I don't know, uh, land at an airport or go off the edge of the map or something to some other valid destination. I don't know. Seems like the plane doesn't love to fly too close to the edge of the city. 
Well, okay, it gets a little close over there. Can you land? No, they're not gonna land at all. Okay, never mind then. We are on the fastest speed, right? Okay. I was wondering if maybe the pathing algorithm for the planes like the UFO attack radius or something, but uh, nope, nope, this one can go right up to the edge. Okay, so with everything going here, let's see, I'm gonna leave this as it is for now, I think. Yeah, I'll leave that so I can build a lot more police departments. Whoa, that was weird. It's like some sort of ripple or update going through there. But, uh, okay, so let's take a look around, see where crime is causing more problems than not. Okay, so I could probably do... Yeah, I want to get rid of crime around the commercial zones as much as possible. So I could probably put... How many do I have now? Okay, so I could build like maybe 10 police departments. So let's see. Yeah, that's not quite up to the maximum of 98 that I want to build. But we'll get there. Okay, so yeah, mostly focus on the areas that are closer to the commercial zones there. Okay, so two over here, two over there, four over there, and then maybe build some more up there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, okay, so we got a couple spots around here that are pretty easy to figure out. Then all the way down here, just make sure I've got the right ones. Yeah. That'll do. And eventually we'll get rid of almost all crime in the city. There might be a little left, like in the corners, because it's kind of hard to cover that area. But it should be pretty good. Okay, then I've got room for two more. Okay, so let's see. Maybe put... No, let's build three police departments. I think that could work out okay. So let's see, if I go like this, that ought to be good. Yeah, yeah, that'll take care of business. And continue right along is my... Well, wherever... Oh, yeah, I think it was right around here. Yeah, continue getting the residential zones rebuilt. Yeah, why don't we keep an eye on the power distribution to the new police departments? Get those going, then then we'll be on track. Whoa! Lost a lot of power there. Maybe I do still need another power plant. The game's not giving me any messages. And I think this does clear up eventually. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're doing, like, roll... What, what's the term for, like, blacking out part of a city? Like a brownout or rolling blackout or... Something or other like that? I don't know. I've never had, like, a planned power loss to the entire house. Never really experienced that in my lifetime. I'm lucky that doesn't happen to me during my recordings. I mean, I do have a, my own personal battery backup power supply. In case things happen like that. But... Still, I kind of, I almost kind of hope that uh, a power outage would happen while I'm recording so that I can just, like, react to it out of nowhere or something. And viewers be like, hey, what do you, what happened, dude? You're, you're still recording, obviously. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there with all this. Okay, I guess I do need another, uh, what is that? Uh, another power plant there. Not much I can do about that right now. But we'll get there. So I'll probably have to keep the... The tax... Or the... Not the tax. The... Uh, police department funding a bit low. So I can have the money to build another power plant. If that is indeed the problem. Usually something like this clears up eventually. But it's constantly like that. I'm surprised the game's not telling me, hey, you gotta build another power plant or something. Maybe that only happens when a certain percentage 
of the city is blacked out? I don't know. So, what I'll probably do here is build another power plant, like right here. Get rid of the one uh, industrial zone there. But then the problem is that this industrial zone won't have transportation connected to it. So I might have to get rid of that, too. But, you know, trading two for however many are out of power here would be a worthy trade. I'm surprised it's taken this long to fast forward through the year. Maybe it's just because the city is so big that it takes the game a while to calculate everything. Like, I know certain things like land value and, and like, power distribution are checked more frequently on a lower speed, but less often on a higher in-game speed there. But yeah, power distribution is just really, really weird. <laughs> game. I, I know how it works, but I don't know why it does, or how I could use that knowledge to my benefit. I don't know. But in any case, let's get through to the end of the year so we can actually have some amount of money. Okay, so we'll have enough to build the power plant. Maybe some more police departments if I'm lucky and no more planes try to destroy my city okay so we get rid of that I put the rail there for the police department but the industrial zone is not going to be so lucky unless there's like another place where I could put another power plant the problem is that all the other corners already have three power plants or a, a seaport in that case. But, uh, okay, so let's go with that and see if that helps the city out. So this one is basically useless. Maybe I could put a fire department there, but I'd rather save the money. <laughs> okay, yeah, I built another power plant, but it didn't solve the problem. Now it's just up there instead I don't know what's going on maybe if I put some more power lines around here I don't think that'll help but it's really weird how the power distribution works it is not very straightforward no I guess those extra power lines didn't help but oh well Maybe get some. Oh, uh, no, no, it's still not working. Not properly, anyway. I might as well just get rid of the power, the new power plant. Doesn't seem to be solving the problem. What if I built like a whole bunch of power lines? I don't know. Maybe somehow power's just not getting through. I don't know. I mean, power lines do increase your power consumption in the city, but at this point, you know, everything else doesn't seem to be helping at all. Let me turn down the speed a little bit there, maybe give it a chance to figure out what it's doing. Oh, right, I don't have anything connected to that one. Let's try that. Let me guess, that'll make everything else go bonkers again. I don't know. Okay, are we good? No? Oh, now we don't have power to my C-tops. Looks like I just put the problem somewhere else. Wow, that whole column is uh, massively screwed up. At least get power to the commercial zones. Okay, anything else not have power? 
Let me see, what if I did that? Just fill in the whole area with power lines, so it has to get there one way or another. How about that? Would be nice. Game? Okay, I give up. I, I don't care. This is this is not worth it. <laughs> okay, well, in any case, yeah, why don't we just go back to the way I had things before? Okay, so with all of that taken care of, let's see, you just need to get a bit more money for the remaining police departments. Let me see, how are we doing on that so far? Okay, four more. Really? Four? Oh, yeah, I built the one over here. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I had one to build up here. Uh, yeah, I do. Well, at least we... No, no, we didn't really solve anything. Okay, well, yeah, I'll just... Uh, when we get to the end of the year and it asks for the funding, I'll just reduce it or increase it enough so I'll have enough money to build the four police departments. And I might be able to get it up to 100%. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was a waste of money on the... on the power plant there. Useless! Maybe that's why the, the power is really all out of whack there. Even the game doesn't know what's going on. I don't know. But in any case, so what I'm planning on doing after this, I mean, I still want to do my full city build on a regular map with gifts and everything. I'm going to be using all the gifts there. And then I, I want to do one video after this showing how hard difficulty works and why I don't want to do it. <laughs> You will see why, viewers. And then I could build the the main city on medium difficulty. So we'll have a decent chance of disasters happening every now and then. And yeah, there's just a whole bunch of things that get changed by that. But yeah, medium difficulty is, in my opinion, a very nice middle ground between hard and easy. Not just mathematically, but also because of like money generation. Well, okay, that in involves math, but like the difficulty of building a city is not as easy as, well, the easy difficulty like here, but not as hard or not as ridiculously difficult as hard difficulty can be. But, uh, okay. Oh, I forgot to... What is it? Yeah, I forgot to change the funding there. Well, let's get it up to 100% now. And that way we'll have everything squared away. Oh, I didn't get that first one up there for some reason. Okay, so we'll get all that. Let's give the game some time to figure out what it's doing. Basically, for my full city layout, is it's going to be... The general idea is the same here, where you have residentials in the middle. Plane crashes every now and then. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's get this all out of the way but yeah so you'll have the same layers of the city with commercial zones between the residential and industrial zones and then in mostly industrial zones in the corners but gifts let me do some other things that I can't do uh, in this city that is and I would like to show you how you can earn all of the gifts in the game. Now this one, I didn't have to even look up. Oh, well that was easy. Didn't even have to wait for that thing to power up. 
But yeah, I knew the fire department was in the right 8x8 grid because one, two, three, four tiles are that bottom row. So this one would have had to be an 8x8 area to contain the fire. But yeah, so as you can see, yeah, we got up to, well, a little over 700,000. I've heard that if you, like, really push the optimization of the city, you could get up to, like, 900,000, or... I've heard one story with, uh, over a million, though I forget if that uses zone stacking or not. But in any case, yeah, I think that's about all we can do here, so let's destroy everything! Oh, and also, let's take a look at the stats for the city before it's too late. I think, oh, I destroyed a police department. Right. Whatever. At this point, it's, it's done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got rid of all the crime problems going on. At least as far as that's concerned. Let's see. So, yeah, once I get the funding distributed, we'll get all of this set up. And also, let me see, so with, once you've got the city fully built, yeah, it's all nice and neat and everything. It's so beautiful. But uh, what happened over here? Whoa. Yeah, so now this stuff's going to just start plowing through my city, although the tornado is being very... Very ineffective there. Just demolishing rails instead of going through the middle of buildings and setting the whole thing on fire, like over here. Oh, and the tornado stopped. Whoa! What's going on here? Game? Nice. Let me see if there's any other... Uh, what is it? Oh, no, I think that's it. Yeah, just going over, uh, those two. But, yeah, with the earthquake, went all over the city there. That could really get out of control really fast. Okay, Bowser, where are you? I took care of Mario for you. Yeah, one weird thing about Bowser's spawn condition is that it's partially based on the amount of pollution in the city. So if you have a lot of it, uh, he could spawn more frequently than the other disasters. You are coming, right, Bowser? Yeah, we're still waiting on you. All right, there you go. Okay, well, thank you for not setting things on fire not destroying my sea top there. Yeah, when I was practicing earlier today, I had a, a plane crash, and it took out one of my sea tops. Too soon, game. Too soon. So, there you go. I was gonna say, like, are you gonna set anything on fire? And well, now the pup population is leaving. Yeah, so I got the auto go-to set here by default. So whenever, like, a building is destroyed, the game will always send me right to that. Destroyed by Bowser, that is, not by an ongoing fire that's spreading everywhere. There you go. Well, with only one fire department in the city, well, that nuclear power plant that looks like it's gonna blow at any time. Now you're aiming a little... Where do you think you're going? Mario isn't here! He's missing! I played that game on the Macintosh back in the day. That was a fun little game. Before we had, like, the Google or the internet. 
we just had Yahoo. If you wanted to look up something, you had to get up off your ass and grab a book and look it up. And we liked it! Okay, well, yeah, it looks like the destruction is carrying on very nicely here. But how difficult could hard mode possibly be? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.